Welcome back. Did you notice how a little music can add style to your tutorials? And if you're working on a series, repeating that same music across videos can add continuity. Be careful though, louder distracting music can annoy viewers and detract from the content. Try to find something fairly benign and use it selectively. In this final video in the audio series, I'll show you how to add music to your projects. I'll cover how to find and preview music in the Camtasia Studio Library, as well as some tricks for blending music with your other tracks. On the timeline, I have a single short piece of narration. I've already taken the time to reduce the white noise and edit out the mistakes. At this point, I'm ready to add some music and make the project a little livelier. Camtasia Studio comes complete with a variety of instrumental tracks. You're free to use them in any Camtasia Studio project. To browse them, click the Library tab, and then look for the Music folders, which are grouped together and listed by song name. If we expand a song folder by clicking once on the small plus symbol, we can see that each folder contains several versions of the song, including brief intro and full-length versions. The times listed here let us know the exact duration of the clip, and double-clicking on any version will play a preview in the Canvas area. I like this one, and my narration is fairly short, so I'll go with the medium version. To get it on the timeline, I can simply right-click and choose Add to Timeline at Playhead. The song keeps going for a while after the narration ends, so the next thing I'll do is trim it in a bit. Okay, I think we can preview this now. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Microsoft Windows Calculator. Oh, the music is pretty loud, and it's drowning out the narration. Actually, I find that music in general always seems to be a little too loud when I first add it to the timeline. So I typically like to reduce the volume of the entire track. Switching to the Audio tab, I can click Volume Down a couple of times, and that should do it. I'm going to show you how to copy calculations made on the Windows Calculator and paste the results into a Notepad document. Better. However, the song is still a little too loud when the narration plays. To address that, I can let the music come in strong and then drop the volume right before the first phrase. Let me magnify the timeline a bit and find the point where I want the music to start to get quieter, which is right about here. That's where I want to add the first audio point. Again, like we've seen in previous videos, to do that, right-click and choose Add Audio Point. Next, I have to add a second audio point, one that will let me transition the volume level. I'll add that point here, and then drag it down to here or so, which should be quiet enough. To review, we just added two separate audio points and dropped the volume from one point to the next. Now let's listen again. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Microsoft Windows Calculator. Ah, very nice. If I scroll to the right, you'll see that the song maintains that low volume the rest of the way. That could work, although I think I would rather the song fade out completely at the end. This is as easy as clicking the Fade Out button in the Audio tab. See how it fades to silence now? Let's listen one last time. For this demonstration, let's just perform a simple subtraction problem. Perfect. Well, that's all for the audio series. But before I go, I want to give you a link to a section of TechSmith.com where you can download additional free music tracks. And as always, you can click here to give feedback on this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this audio series. And thanks for watching.